Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome to the penultimate episode of Transport Fever 2 Where your boy has been building his very own transportation company across the whole entirety of Europe right now Last episode we built this brand new airport system which brings the crude oil over to here Which turns the crude oil, well technically it brings it over here so then drop it over there, which then brings it back to over here to make it into fuel and skedaddles out of here. There's a lot going on with this, guys. There's definitely a lot going on with this right now. But today is the Puroma episode, which means next episode will be the final one. And I think there is only one way to end this series. And that is to build my very own town. Yes, guys. We're going to build the city of fools fools city right now i think it'd be a great way to end it to have our own little city and i've came, kind of given it like a load of thought where you can kind of place it i thought to myself we can claim a little bit of land like maybe i could turn this island into like you know fools uh fools town should we call it fools town i think we'll call it fools town uh, but i thought to myself no let's not actually pull it on a piece of land let's actually claim our own land and create our own country because all these lands are already taken up. Countries have already claimed them right now. So we kind of need to create our own. So guys, if you are enjoyed this. And you have enjoyed the series so far. Please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new in here. to make sure you do subscribe. So you are notified when that next episode does come out. And that next episode is going to be the final one. Now give me a lot of hard four. I could have built it in the middle here. But I kind of want it to be near some of the larger cities and my next thought was how about up here then i thought mm, there's too much shipping going on it'll be a little bit too crazy and then again like if i place an island there i can't do trains i would need to do planes because it's a you know an island so i thought to myself well how about just over here in the middle of nowhere and i thought you know what that would be a good idea we'll see what we can kind of get up with up to should i say with this now we need to, <laughs> we first need to claim some land, so, um, I don't know how high we need to go, but if I raise here until we are pretty much borderline above the water, there we go, raise a bit more, alright, hold on, let me, let me flatten there, oh my goodness me. Just realizing it right now, the actual extent we've got to go to to kind of create an island is a bit crazy. Is it not an easy way to do this, guys? Because this is going to be a little bit too long. Um, right, get all this in. What's paint tools? Ah! Ooh. Assets. Okay, we're going too far. We're going too far. Up the strength. So it gets it done straight away. And I think what we'll do is I'll bring it out so far. Right. We'll bring it down so far as well. There we go. And I'll bring it up this way. So I'm kind of creating like a big X. And then we'll connect all the ends of the X. To one another. So I think that'll be fine to this point. Now, I won't make this one huge because it's getting a little bit too close down to, like, Spain and Portugal. Now, would it be easy to do the circle one? Maybe. So, all I've got to do right now is just slowly progress around and get all the... Do you know what, guys? I bet there's an easy way for me to do this, and I bet someone said it in the comments section. And I'm going to feel so foolish once I've got all this done. But uh, this is literally... All I need to get done. So we'll connect this one round as well. Oh, 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 easy, easy boy. I don't know if it's easier to do this brush or the other one. Let me try this one as well. Is this one that's slightly larger? Oh, do you know what? I feel like this one's better. Look how much destru- Well, I'm about to say destruction. I ain't causing no destruction. Look how quick I managed to do that little area there. Damn. So we'll have the main island. This is how it's going to work. We'll have the main island like here. And I'm going to do like a big international airport. So obviously I don't want it too close to the airport. 
So we'll, we'll eventually claim a little bit more land later down the road to build this airport. I just want to get all this main structure. Now, when it comes to building a brand new town, we also have to think about what the town or the city is going to need. Will it need oil? Will it need bricks? Will it need food? Will it need, like, you know, goods, machinery? That's all the stuff we kind of have to um, think about. Now, what I'll do is, once we've kind of done all this, we'll kind of look around the local area to this island and what kind of items are easily accessible. Now, it doesn't have to be ones that we're already kind of creating because, obviously, I need a really, really good supply. We might have to create, like, a new supply. But whatever is kind of near the local area is what we'll then go on to make the town need. The city of fools right now. This is going to be amazing. This is legit going to be amazing. So already, <clears throat> if I kind of angle it like this as I kind of claim a little bit more land. From what I can see in the distance right now, we do have that little food set up on the go. That goes just outside of Bordeaux. And that pretty much goes all the way up to London to feed that. Now I know that is not always... Um, we're not always taking the max capacity. There's a lot of wasted stuff and there's a lot of wheat farms nearby as well. That we can really utilize and get extra from. So I might make it ha need food. All right, this is a right pain. This is a right pain. Right, we'll get this all done and hopefully we could then come back and right, start. We have a piece of land. Looking at the size of that land compared to Paris or London. I mean, I I'm not. I'm. Right, I'll be honest with you, now, guys. I'm not aiming to make this the biggest city in the game. I'm not aiming to do that. I just want to have my own stake. I also don't know if it's a good idea to be on the, the, the forefront and the, the first, almost borderline the first barrier of the Atlantic Ocean into, into France. I don't know where that's going to be. The winds might be very strong, is the, uh, what I'm trying to say right now. So, towns. We're going to go for a huge town. Now, this is going to be interesting as well. Commercial, random. Um, we'll go for food. Industrial, we can either do construction materials, machines, or fuel. Now, construction materials, <clears throat> machines, we have machines over here, which I can bring the wood to it. I just need steel coming in as well. Do we have any, like, steel plants nearby? We we do. Oh, I forgot about that one over there. It is kind of bringing stuff over to there to make goods. Do I have an... We have another one over here. Which I think... Is it being used at any point to make... I believe it is. Yeah. To, do you know what? Actually, I don't know if it is. If, is it making tools? No, it is It is over here. Yeah. I can bring some stuff from over there. So, shall we go for machines then? Let's go for machines. And... Let, okay, so this could be a bad idea. But if I, I try and centralize it... Oh my goodness me. We are seeing Fool's Town being built. Oh, this is too exciting. This is too exciting. So if I rename it then, and literally call it Fool's Town. <laughs> so already, without me doing anything right now, let me go to the cities. Oh no, wrong button. It is this one via size and it is now no obviously it's you know we, we, i have selected like a huge town but from the get-go it now becomes the one two three four five six the six smallest town in the game it is bigger than uh bucharest Stockholm, Copenhagen, Athens, and Tiena. I can't know how you pronounce that one at the bottom. Uh, but Bordeaux, Gdansk, Dublin, Zurich, Marcel. We're coming for you, boys. We're coming for you right now. So we've got to set some good stuff up then. So let's get this underway. Packages. So the industry's on this side, which is probably a good thing considering that I, um, you know, could build like a, a, a small little harbor and whatnot. So we'll start with a harbour anyway. Cargo harbour, large terminals. Do I go for four? Is that too many? No, we'll, we'll go two. No, actually, I'm going to go for four because I like how it kind of sets itself up. So if I place this 
let's just say here. Right. Now, I will slightly modify it because I want to get some passenger stuff on the go. So I think what I'd do, I'd delete this one. Right. Passenger. Place that there instead. And then landings. So we have a passenger and a cargo on both sides. Makes a little bit of sense, right? I'll sort the road out right now around it. Because I know it is pretty low. So I bring that way, that way, that to there. And if I do a nice little bend. So I'll let the city kind of semi-grow naturally. So we have a nice little ring road on the go going round. Um, if I run that down to there. Do you know what? I'll do... Actually, I won't play that, place that in just yet. No, actually, I will. I'll, I'll manually do some roads. So we have some kind of organisation. And the residential's on this side, which I'm going to have to claim a little bit more land. But let's just keep the basics first. Let's just keep the basics. Now, that only touches this side here. Eventually, it will push in and grow a bit more. But I'm going to have to bring it all over. Unless we do a few more roads. Would be the answer. So if I went like down to here. And if I did a little crisscross. Does it manage to pick up a few more areas? Mm, no, not really. And what is it picking up over there? It's only mainly the machinery. That's fine. Because there's a lot more we can do. So I think what we'll do first. Then, we'll, we'll, we'll get set up bringing the stuff over. So. If we pick up or create. A building. And we need a, a truck stop to begin with. This is where we're going to obviously collect the goods that, do, that does drop off. Now do I place it here or shall I kind of integrate it in a little bit to like here for example unless I place it like here well I'll place it here and I'll, I'll show you why in just a minute all right get rid of you oh do you know do you know what I always forget to do the little um additional stuff I can make it like a little bit longer oh I thought you can make it longer than that that's fine so, reason being is, if I do that like this, right, that is connected to this. Right, I don't mind that it's right on the edge. But cargo-wise, I can extend it. Like that. Keep it simple. So, when we bring food and machines over, it can be stored there for the vehicles to take it in. So, if I quickly now just do the buildings for the drop-off points for the truck and load areas. So, food... Within this general facility, uh, vicinity, I can't even say the word. And then machines in this general vicinity. Oh my goodness me. And then we'll quickly create a new line from you to you. New line, you to you. And if I switch them over on their lines, so if I put you on one. And then this one I put on two. Why not? And then, them lines are ready to go. I've just got to bring the goods over. I've just got to bring the goods over at this point. So, food is very, very easily gives the ability to bring it from over here. So, if I can configure this and add a second one in, with a landing just there. Now, there's a lot of food already waiting there. So, it makes sense to have an additional um, line. Which is also going to be a big help for us in a sense that we're going to extend this because it's now delivering to more areas. So that'll be handy. If it needs more grain coming in, we're only utilizing these two over here, the grain farms. So there's a grain farm down here and there's one up here too. So there's lots around that we can really, really utilize. Now I will drop down a little shipyard because we're going to need it. And I think what I'll do as well is when we start making the machines from over here, I'll bring the machines down to here. So the same ship brings both goods over, the wheat and the machines. So I need to have that thought process in mind. And I might just go for the big boy from the get-go, which is this here. 
Um, food, machines, does it all. On that line. There we go. There we go. So when we start seeing the food on this line start appearing now, let's have a little fast forward. Has it got? It's gone. It's got a little bit, and it's not a lot. But it's going to be interesting to find out how this rock and roll. Oh no, it won't bring it over because I haven't got any vehicles set on this line. Of course it won't. Okay. So, buildings. I need a vehicle or a road depot. Drop it just there. So, if I get for now, then just let's say four trucks. And we'll do two on one line. Two on the other. But for those lines anyway, I need to make sure that this one is only loading food. Yeah. And this line is only loading the machines. Just so we know which way they're pretty much heading and going. So with that said then, I don't know whether the, the boat's already got there or not, or it's kind of loaded. But it then should have the ability very soon. I think it's now disappearing. It's way too big to even get in this area, isn't it? It is way too big. But we, stood, we, sh we should start seeing it appearing very soon. So that's all connected to there. Um, yeah. Well, we should be okay. So, yeah, there we go. Food is now appearing on line 90. So that is now going to work. It is just going to take a little bit of time. But also, that is the fastest boat that we can have for cargo as well. Believe it or not. So, that works wonders. I've now got to get this system set up. Is what I've got to do. So, we need to bring a ton of wood over to here. And we have three options. We've got one, two, and three. Now, what we'll do, we'll set up as a little train line because we can kind of continue to go back and forth. Should be a better option for us because we can, we can then hold a lot more. So, cargo, station. Right, so we're going to go for two platforms. And I'll place it right here. Truck. Truck? Track constructions. All right, spin you right round. Just there to instantly go down so I can kind of connect it in the way that I want it to go. And I don't feel like we need a second one there, so we should be okay. So if I now do buildings, we get all this set up then. So we have you just there. Uh, we need wood and steel, don't we? So I feel like we'll get two platforms set up here no free because we're going to have eventually one that then takes it down to the exploitation area so then over here we will have one um, and over here I'll have one as well so lots of wood going to be brought over we need to bring the steel over, which as of right now, we'd have the option to bring it from down here. The next closest one then, if I can remember where it was, is just there. So I think we'll go for this one first. I think we'll go for that one first. So right then, let's get actually all the train tracks all hooked up. So I think we'll start here. Okay, that's not going to work. <laughs> Bring this right to about there. And round. So we'll go for the road there. Nice little road connection. We... Oh, that's another thing as well. I've got three. I should have added an extra little line on, shouldn't I? Right, I want to get this... All connected to over here as well. So what's the best option that it gives us? A little bridge over, a little connection just there. I'll go with it. Standard, simple, 
should be effective. Now, this one here, I want it to work like that. Is that on the middle one? Yes, perfect. So that works to there. So we've got two at the minute. Do you reckon two at the minute should be okay? Because it'll be the same train that goes back and forth. Yeah, we'll kind of wait for that one. It's there when we need it, basically. So new line. Picking up from you, dropping it to there. Picking up from you, dropping it to there. That's all it needs to pretty much do. Now, in terms of buildings for the trains, we'll keep it simple. Connect you there. Yep. Yeah. So, by trains. Diesel's fine. Unless I want to go electric. Because of the loading speed. What's the speeds that these do? 160. We'll go with this. It's fine. It should be fine. Cargo wise, obviously it needs to contain wood. Or logs in this case. Let me take a few off. 140 capacity. We'll do it. Off it goes. So I won't set it to any full loads or pick any full loads up at the minute. Because we, we technically don't really have any demand. But that will now slowly start doing what it's got to do. And then I can bring a vehicle from over here to over there. So if I get that underway then. A little vehicle line just from there to there. Should do its thing. And... That is in the wood side of it taken care of. They're not perfect, these little setups. But they should work. Tracks. We're going to quickly grab a track from over here. So buy vehicles. Again, I'll do all diesel vehicles. It doesn't really matter at this point. And they're taking then the planks, which will still be these. Which I'll only get a few of these. 60. Sixty for now. On that, because I don't expect that to be producing too much, is the answer. So that train should go. I, I know I haven't done any signals, but once it gets to this part there, these two trains will never see each other ever again. So we're okay. We will be okay. So that skedaddles through. Nothing waiting for it at the minute because there's not really nothing really much going on. But that is one side of getting the machines underway. Our big ship here has picked up 21. Now that is going to need a lot more grain. You can already tell it's going to need a lot more grain. So we are going to have to bring the grain from other areas. All right, I'll leave that for now because it's not a major issue. How is Full Town doing? Is, is the, the charts are straight at the minute? But this will be the first time it actually gets some goods coming in. So for me to now get steel, i got to make steel. We're making steel over here, but that line is solely dedicated for something else. So, I got, I mean, oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfection, right there. Um, okay, what's the best idea for me to do? Train line going back and forth. Yeah, it would be. It would be. But at the same time, I just want to kind of quickly glance over at this and see this in, in, in full motion. Right. Hurry up, you're full. It's doing 20 kilometers. Weak. Absolutely weak right now. I mean, this is going to be hemorrhaging money, but eventually it's going to be making quite a bit of cash. But any minute now. Oh, is it speeding up? No, it's slowing down. <laughs> I thought it was speeding up there. So we'll use these two here to bring the ore over. We'll use these two here to bring the coal over. Then we'll train the steel over to there. And then we're good to go with making machinery. We'll then bring the machinery down to here. To the port to be transferred over. To be taken 
with that ship over to Fallstown. And then we've got everything that we pretty much need for it to grow. Then all you need to do at this point then is bring passengers over. Which is what we'll probably end up doing next episode. So in comes the ship, which should drop a load of uh, food just here. When it um, gets here. After it's finished crashing into the harbour. Right, any minute now we should be good to go. Yes, guys. You kind of forget how big this is. But there we go. We dropped the food off. The food. Do you pick up the food? Gets picked up by this. One truck almost picks all of it up. And then we now just watch him disappear to over here. And drop off the food. We have nothing at the minute. Quality of life is amazing on, on Fool's Town Island right now. It's amazing. We'll see how it ends up in the long run. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, but here's the truck anyway. Skedaddling out. It's just got to get to over here. And I wonder if we will see any instant growth. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Any instant growth, you say? Right, in it comes. Drops it off. No instant growth. I suppose we need a lot more, don't we? We do. But there we go. It's working. There's 26. There's already more waiting for this next shipload to come in. But again, it needs so much more grain coming in. But we'll get to that point momentarily anyway. So let's sort the rest of this out then. So let's get then over here. Uh, set up. The train here. So I'm going to go for three platforms. I'll show you why in just a minute. Drop you there. Track constructions. I only want one tunnel. Spin it right round. To there. Apparently that's below the ground. But if I drag this... To here. Too much of a slope apparently. Alright, there's collisions, but it's only because it slightly raises itself up. So there. And through. Okay, we've got this. Right, how is it connecting itself in? It is. I don't want it to do that. And voila! We are done. Okay, so that was the most important one. <laughs> now, track, uh, building, sorry. Back to these. Only need one. We'll go for the super long ones on these so we can store a lot of the goods. Why can't I get both of them? Why would I get both? Alright, roads. I'm hoping that there is enough to kind of collect them both. Aha! We got there in the end. So probably I'm going to do the same thing here right now. No, that works fine just here. So track wise then, it's super close. But I'm doing different platforms for each one just for the sake of the trains won't crisscross one another. So if I then do building wise with the little depot one there... One there. If I spin you right round. I know we got an individual depot for each one, but it just kind of saves on the headache. Let's just be honest. Right, new line from there to here. New line from there to here. New line from there to here. Right, we should be ready to go. We honestly should. I've already lost where I am. It's over here. <laughs> so... Vehicles, again, we're just going to go diesel. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we need this bad boy right now. So I'm going to throw on 
a capacity of two no 200 considering how short the distance is i think a hundred is going to be fine i can't even see what line it's meant to be on line 93 so that will do what it needs to do over here uh diesel bam one, two, three, four, five. Bye. Which is you. And then you. It's a longer distance on this one, so it's more of a case of we'll add in a few extra cargoes. I'll do a 200 capacity, we'll probably never need it. Line 95 is now on the scene. So that's all done. We've got everything that we need right now that should be working for us to be able to create the machines. The steel is going to be dropped off. So this plant is already getting it. It's already dropping off some steel. So that's going to work. It is going to work. So again, we just need time to pass by. So now I need to do another one that then comes down to here, which means we're going to have to add an extension onto this. So tracks. There we go. And what I'll do, just make it super easy. That I ain't messing about. All right, I ain't messing about. Just do this to there, track-wise. So if that stayed completely under... Let me just get this just right, guys. Bring it right down. Hopefully that is okay. Oh, shabam. This is the most shocking lines I've ever done in the game. But this is all I want to do to get this up and running. So, bam, there we go. <laughs> I can't believe this is going to work. I really cannot believe it's going to work. So, I shouldn't have to do anything additional now. Oh, no, I've just done the line, haven't I? What am I doing? I need to add a new train onto this. So, what's the easiest way to do it? The easiest way to do it... I've never built so many depots in all my life. Kind of can't build it there because of the... Uh... Well, I'll build it here. Right. <laughs> oh, snap. Hold on. I think I've might... Uh, no, no, no. I, I thought I might have done the wrong thing on the other train, but I haven't. So cargo, we need the one that carries machinery, which is this one, the box cart. And we'll just do an 80 capacity because I don't feel like we're going to be making much of this. And ta-da! So what's being stored? Waiting for the steel to get over. Boxcar can then bring the machines down. And this ship now can take both food and machinery over to our brand new city. Our brand new town of Fool's Town. I like it. So over here we got 18 available, ready to kind of um, collect. As more and more time passes by, more and more shipment will increase, and we'll be rocking and rolling. So like I said, it will take a while. So while we wait then, let's actually get some more grain being brought over to here. So some of it we can do via vehicle. And what not. So we'll kind of start up here then. So buildings... Truck start. Uh, only one platform. So one from there. I don't know why it's supposed to do a little tunnel there. But one... Oh, it's really raised, that's why. One from there. And... There's one over there as well, but we see how these go first. So from there, 
Oh, I didn't add in a little drop-off point, did I? If I do it there, because when they come in, they can drive back out. It's easy enough to do. Uh, right, where was I? Oh, no, not new line. Add station. There to there. And then back. So if I do it like that, I can have like so many vehicles on that line. I need a vehicle depot now. Is there one nearby? Um, I don't think there is. So we're building ourselves a little road depot. Road depot. Just there. And all right, it's all car. It does all cargo, but are we concerned about the emissions? I don't think so, boys. I'm gonna have twenty trucks. Why not? Why not? Let's upgrade these roads then. Medium country lane speeds. Okay. Speeds up to 100. Alright, it's a bit dangerous. I'll do where I can. And then where I can't, we'll do the singular lane. There we go. So lots of trucks now underway to pick up all the grain. To drop it off down to here so we just got more consistently. And uh, we can just keep filling it all up. So that is still yet to bring anything down. That does have it now. Oh, there we go. It's actually making machines for the first time. Oh my goodness me, guys. Oh my goodness me. It's happening. So hopefully by the time that ship comes on the way back, it can bring food and machines. So the charts now... Oh, we've grown. We've flatlined a little while then. I think that flatline is when the ship's not bringing any goods over. That's when we had the delivery. <laughs> I think that's what, it, what it's meant to be, isn't it? So where does that put us now? Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. We're still number six, but we... Ooh, we're, we're level pegging with Bordeaux. Ooh, I'm sorry, Bordeaux, but it's time to go. Oh, that rhymed. Oh, no, we've actually got mach machines already here. It's happening. It's only freaking happening right now. It's only freaking happening right now, boys. Can not believe the progression we have got done today. Cannot believe it. Right. This is screaming out for more and more goods. It really is. But um, do you think we should really extend these as well? Because obviously as they deliver more and more. Be nice to have loads of goods waiting. So these trucks are heading over to here right now. So I know this has really got nothing at the minute, but when they all skedaddle and disappear and they're like more even spread, that tra transportation will increase. How many of you got on board? You managed to get four. It's not a lot, but we'll eventually get loads as time goes on. Once it hits this road here, it can do lots of speeds. So there's a nice little straightest section just here. So it goes around the corner. And what speed will it get up to, boys? Let's find out. Uh, nearly up to 70, boys. 75. 80. 83, 84. Oh, we got to 84 before the corner. Speedy. Speedy foods. Right, that ship is almost here too. 
So he's about to drop some down right now. So does he have any actually any on board? He has 32. Okay, he oh that's the it's the first load, isn't it? So the right thing is it comes into here, drops it off and can drive back out, which doesn't overcomplicate it for a lot of the vehicles when they're approaching in. 17 on board. So again, another set of consistent stock coming in, which means we can consistently keep producing. Which is good for us. There's quite a bit waiting over here too, which will now get transported as well. It's all happening. It's literally all happening. Very exciting. It's all very exciting. So let's go check out all the stuff that we just got set up then. So are you still producing like a crazed lunatic? Still got the goods coming in. Trains keep consistently filling up and dropping goods off. That's what I like to see. Yeah. So I think next episode then, guys. Where that ship is now going to get filled up with food and machines. You ready? There we go. Food and machines now getting on board. Fool's Town's going to have a whale of a time. So next episode, we'll focus on getting the transportation side of it all set up. I'll claim a little, like a little bit extra land to build like a like a large international style airport, and um, we'll obviously we'll make it go straight to London, to Madrid, uh, to Budapest as well. The three main airports that we have in which really do then connect us to a lot of the train lines because those cities are, have multiple train lines connected to them. So it really opens it up, you know, generically for that. And obviously having a large airport means we can have bigger planes with bigger capacities. So we ain't going to be worrying about people waiting. Um, so these charts, again, that's where the last delivery came. <laughs> so we should start to see even more growth right now as we bring in not only more food over, but machines all at the same time as well. So that's now upgrading because obviously we're consistently filling it with food or have the ability to fill it with food. So dropping the goods off, boys. I don't know if it'll be easier as well to kind of... Um to do this that way. Does it change it for any of the routes? Yeah, you do. It does a little, little bit of a loop coming in and out, so they can skedaddle a whole lot easier. But that's consistently getting so much stuff. So we're always going to be producing food. As it levels up, it's going to get even more hungry. But as more and more time passes by, the transport increases on here, which means it can then output a lot more. <clears throat> so apparently you're still waiting for the transport to increase. Is it not taking into account what we're taking from over here? Oh no, it's not doing that because the products haven't reached their final destination. Of course that's what it is. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. So for the first time ever, then we're going to see food and machines. We got more machines than food. That's saying something. That's probably because the uh, the farm was starved for quite some time. Um, right. For the first time, then, the other vehicle cargo line is now going to have some goods to export to deliver. So, a little bit of waiting time right now. Play the game. Play the game, boys. We got to play the game. As we now drop it down. So here we go. Any moment now. <laughs> I'm excited. I really am. All right, come on, boy. There we go. The machines and the food all drop down, which means we can now have vehicles collecting this. Wow, there's a lot of machines, isn't there? So, vehicles can collect this. The ship's tooting its horn. We finally got our vehicle here right now, collecting some goods. 
So the charts... The plateau should be a lot shorter than this, and the growth should the next growth should be a lot higher than normal because of all the goods we've got now coming in. So that is our first vehicle over here, about to drop off some goods. They're screaming out for machines in Fool's Town. Right, here we go. Here we go. We drop off the goods. Nice. <laughs> Nothing much really happens right now, but it's all happening. It's all slowly happening, guys. Food's going to get dropped off as well. Let the boom begin. Let the boom begin. Not sure how long we got to wait for something to happen. But here comes another set of goods. <laughs> I don't know how long we have to wait for. It's like, do something. Um, how are we doing over here then? So, the new stuff now waiting 98 on the machines. Uh, this is upgraded, obviously. Which still needs more goods coming in. Cannot get enough right now. Now, do these wait for a full load or not? What what's what are these lines here? Line, let me go. Let me, it's easy to do it this way. Uh, manage line. It does wait for a full load. Load, if any. Let's do it that way instead. Because then that way they'll just bring what they can bring, rather than waiting and waiting and waiting. So hopefully we'll have a consistent flow at that moment of whatever's available. So while the, the trucks are just taking the slight edge off it, we're dropping some goods in. We just need more and more and more. Lots of, look at that. That is the most machines and most food we have ever exported over to Fool's Town right now. Holy moly! I'm loving this. I'm loving it, boys. I don't think we'll ever increase it to the next stage because the tra well, actually, you know what? I reckon we might get to the, the full end, the highest level. Is it level five? Is that what it is? One, two, no, level four is the highest level. Damn, we're gonna be doing good. Now this is never gonna make us money. Look, look at the the profit margin right there. It's never gonna make us money. We know this, but it's just a supply and grow. Fool's town. That's going to upgrade. That's good to see. How is over here doing? Needs more shipment, apparently. Oh, no, no. It needs to be shipped to a, an additional area for it to expand. But I think what it's doing right now is okay. 25 there, dropping in. I think we can manage that. That's going to be okay. See, consistently keep bringing food in right now means we just can have a, a constant supply. And hopefully as more and more time goes on, the trucks going back and forth here will be evenly spaced out. So we started to grow, then I see buildings growing. The charts, there we go. A shorter plateau, a higher spike is what we need. There's houses growing everywhere right now. So the real boom will begin... Once we start bringing passengers in and out of Fool's Town. So, we've got the supply of the goods needed. The important part of it. Now, we are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is where we was before. 7, 8, 9, 10. The 11th smallest town in the game. And you can see here, zero. Zero passengers being connected. Or potential destinations it can kind of reach. Wow. Amazing. London is still number one. But it'll be nice to keep on growing Fool's Town right now. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you're hyped for the final episode where we finally bring passengers over to Fool's Town and continue the growth, then make sure you smash the like button down below. 
And if you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out. But until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So good.